of diagnosis. Elena? Dear Dr. Bohamed, dear Dr. Shawi, it's my pleasure to be here and I would like to thank you for invitation to speak and share my experience with the new ultrasound system of Oluson Expert 22. And indeed, from the first side, it was the uh, real story of love. And I would like to show and start um, in the, my presentation from the very first case that I was able to um, perform on this new system. This patient was referred to our department for dating and viability at 11 weeks and four days with a known monocryonic diamniotic twin gestation. And at that day, um, congenital heart anomaly was suspected on twin B. So here we have the four chamber view uh, of the heart on this fetus. Um, as you know, the uh, evaluation of the heart as early as 11 weeks gestation is very challenging. It's even more challenging in settings of the uh, twin gestation, in particular on twin B, which is uh, always more difficult to get. And here you can clearly see how well this machine performed an evaluation of that baby's heart. We can clearly visualize the chest. We can see that there is definitely some abnormality going on with the fetal heart. And on this still image, we can clearly visualize that there is no flow on the left side of the heart and there is just single inflow on the right that uh, makes uh, this heart suspicious for the univentricular heart. And looking at the three vessel and trachea view, we were able uh, to confirm our suspicion. So we can see just one big vessel um, and we can really recognize the other vessel. So, so all those findings together were able um, to make the conclusion and diagnosis of the hypoplastic left heart syndrome, very severe congenital heart anomaly. And at that point, we were able to counsel the patient appropriately. I would like to demonstrate that this case, how powerful is uh, this machine, and in particular, the color doppler techniques that are available on this system, that we uh, can be very confident in the diagnosis as early as 11 weeks gestation. Also, I would like to uh, point out that on this machine, we have a uh, whole spectrum of the different color Doppler modalities, including conventional color Doppler, HD color Doppler, power Doppler, and slow flow, that in combination with the radiant flow and the volume imaging can really um, show and um, present the really unlimited uh, possibilities to visualize the blood flow, not just in the heart, but in the rest of the body of the fetus. And here I have a few examples how artistic images could get if we're applying those techniques. This is, for example, the 3D uh, image demonstrating the pericolosal artery and the branching of the vessels in the mid-sagittal plane of the head. And here is the uh, very a dramatic image showing the vasculature of the fetal liver at 28 weeks gestation, demonstrating the umbilical vein, the portal sinus, the extrahepatic portal vein, and uh, hepatic arteries. So all this is possible using the new modalities and um, the improved algorithms for the Doppler imaging on the new system, Boluson Expert 22. So, but uh, the real revolution, I think, is uh, really um, applies to the an assessment of the spectral Doppler. Uh, as we know, the uh, color Doppler and the beautiful images, they are really interesting uh, things to look at. But for the practitioners, for people who are sitting and scanning um, uh, in the screening settings or in the very busy clinics, those images are probably have uh, less importance than the uh, appropriate measurements and the appropriate uh, quantitative data that can be obtained from uh, using the spectral Doppler imaging. And I think that the new modality and the new option which is available and presented here as a block on the touch screen here, this is something that will uh, make the significant change in the way how we do uh, Doppler ultrasound, uh, not just of the heart, but of the other uh, vessels in the fetal body. And this is basically shows that the Doppler image optimization, for the most part, includes the adjustment of the following parameters, including scale, wall filter, sweep speed, gain, and baseline. So the uh, flow profiles uh, allow for quick 
optimization of all those parameters depending on the vessel that we are looking at. And there are six options, as you can see here. We may uh, use the flow profiles for assessment of the uterine artery doppers, MCA, ductus venosus, umbilical artery, and then the cardiac for pulmonary veins and just the intracardiac flows. So just the push of one button allows automatically to optimize all those parameters and significantly improves uh, not just visualization, but uh, really um, you have to uh, spend just a split of a second to optimize the image. Here you can see the example, how we can go from this image of the umbilical um, artery Doppler, which is very routine for obstetrical practice. And the image looks not bad, but you know that the optimization by pushing this uh, umbilical artery optimization button, we can uh, really see that the image can be significantly improved. And you can uh, visualize here that the sweep speed was adjusted, the position of the baseline, and the spectrum looks cleaner. That also has an advantage that uh, involved the automatic measurement of the spectrum and those parameters that we're really interested in. This is the pulsatility index or ASD ratio. And you can see that the automatic um, trace of the spectrum is very precise. And uh, this is really um, speeds up and um, makes the um, those measurements so fast and uh, really efficient that uh, at the end of the day, we'll um, improve the productivity of the ultrasound imaging. If you look at the cardiac Doppler imaging, uh, it's well known that uh, it depends, the image optimization depends on what um, area within the heart we are looking at. And the optimization is quite opposite depending on the um, which file we are looking at. So if you're looking at the intracardiac flows, we need to set up our settings for high velocity scale, high wall filter, low gain and low color persistence. If we are looking for the pulmonary vein blood flow, the optimization should be completely the opposite. It should be low velocity scale, low wall filter, high gain, and the high uh, color persistence. So uh, it's pretty obvious that we need to do some adjustments uh, of those parameters back and forth during the fetal echocardiogram. So the, the uh, utilization of the uh, flow profiles, we can go back and forth from the intracardiac flow to the uh, pulmonary reveals flow in a click of just one button that you can see here we can switch between the cardiac and the pulmonary veins and if on the cardiac preset we kind of see a little bit of the pulmonary veins they're visualized here. But by clicking on the pulmonary veins, we really can visualize the pulmonary veins uh, on the left and on the right side. This is the inferior pulmonary veins very clearly. And that would ease the um, not just the direct visualization of those veins, but also the placement of the um, course of the spectral Doppler that allows to look at the shape of the waveform in these uh, vessels. And again, using the um, flow profiles allow to optimize the spectral Doppler as well. If we are in the cardiac preset, the traditional cardiac preset, usually we will obtain the, this image first and then we will need to adjust the uh, scale because the flow in the pulmonary veins is very low velocity. We will need to adjust uh, gain and other parameters. By, uh, but using the flow profiles, all this is absolutely unnecessary. And even a not very experienced user can uh, obtain the perfect picture like shown here in a split of a second. So I think that this is a great advantage of the new machine. And I highly recommend to uh, everybody to explore the um, opportunities that this uh, flow profiles can provide. And at the end, I would like to say that the reason why I fell in love with the Volusone Expert 22, that the image quality is absolutely amazing. And overall, the system shows uh, unbelievable intelligence that make my everyday practice more productive and give me more confidence in my diagnosis. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.